In this video I wanted to show how easy it is to upgrade a PlayStation 4 with a crucial SSD and also demonstrate what kind of a performance increase you can expect to see. We'll start off with the actual installation itself. Make sure the PlayStation is unplugged and it's even worth pressing the power button a couple of times just to make sure any remaining power is drained from it. With a bit of manoeuvring the top cover just pulls off. You can then remove the screw holding the hard drive bay in place. Once you've removed the four screws attaching the hard drive to the hard drive bay, it's worth double checking which way around the SATA connectors need to face before replacing it with the SSD. Once the SSD has been attached, Push the drive bay back into the slot and reattach the screw. You can now replace the cover on the top just by pushing it on gently. Now that we've installed the SSD, the next step is to download the system software from the Sony PlayStation website and copy this onto a USB flash drive. It's important to note that Sony provide two versions of the download. One is just an upgrade option and the other is the full system software. Make sure you get the full version as we need this to initialise the new SSD. If you've not already backed up your save game data, there's instructions at that website as well on how to do this. You will now need a USB flash drive that has been formatted using the FAT32 file system. And then you'll need to create a folder on it called PS4 and a subfolder within that called Update. I think they're case sensitive so best to use all caps. Now you can copy that file you downloaded into the new folder you created on the flash drive, which takes us on to the next step, initialising the SSD and installing the system software. To do this, you'll need to plug the USB flash drive into the USB port of the PlayStation 4 then press the power button and keep it pressed for about 5 seconds to activate safe mode. Once you've connected your controller, scroll down to the last option, initialize PS4, reinstall system software. Then you can just follow the on-screen instructions to set up the system software on your new SSD. To see how much of a difference the SSD actually makes, I recorded the PlayStation loading up with the hard drive installed and then did the same again with the SSD installed. I've ran these side by side so we can get a quick comparison of the actual speed difference. Load up time was roughly 16 seconds with the SSD installed. With the old hard drive in comparison, it took around about 23 seconds to fully load up. That makes it about 30% faster starting up the console with the new SSD. I also wanted to see how much of a difference it would make loading game levels, so this time I recorded the screen as it loaded a save game from Assassin's Creed. First though I copied the data over from the hard drive to the SSD to make sure that the game level that was being loaded was identical in both cases. The level took around 18 seconds to load from the SSD and nearly 24 seconds to load from the hard drive. Not quite as big a difference as with the boot up speeds, but that's still around 25% or 6 seconds quicker every time you load a level. Overall it's safe to say that installing an SSD is really easy in a PlayStation 4 and it makes a noticeable difference to startup as well as game loading times.